What's up guys, Mike from the XD Experience here. So today what we're gonna do, this is gonna be our part two video on us bottling this batch of Brew Demon beer we did here. This is the IPA, we did the first video, I'm sure you guys have seen it already, um, where we cooked it up, we did it all in real time, one take, so that way everybody can get the whole feel of doing it as you do it, how long it takes, there's no cuts in it or nothing like that. We just did a continuous video, so we helped, we hoped that that would help you um, understand how easy it is and how fast it is, and you actually do make pretty good beer. First batch we did <clears throat> is uh, conditioning up there. We'll be trying that out. That batch we did is um, what they say you can get done, which is the one week fermentation. It was actually 10 days fermentation and uh, uh, 10 days uh, conditioning after it was bottled. So that one we didn't do a video on. We just did that one as a test run to see about, about the two week mark how the taste is. And we're gonna do a taste test on both of those. And then this is the one that's been fermenting for two weeks and I'll be putting it, putting it in bottles and it'll be sitting for two weeks and then we'll do a side by side to see. There's a difference between two weeks uh, fermenting and two weeks conditioning and one week fermenting and one week conditioning. So um, we're new to beer making here. This is like our, I did it a couple times but only like little one gallon batches and stuff like that. So this is the first, really first time we did anything more than that. So it's kind of a new experience for us too. So, um, and we're looking to get into it uh, much more and do just a beer for us to drink on our podcast. If you guys haven't checked out the podcast, xdexperience.com. We do a podcast on conspiracy, aliens, all kinds of stuff. You can find us all over the place, Twitter, Google, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and all those things, iTunes, Stitcher, Radio. But today, this is going to be a video on bottling. I'm going to um, show you guys um, uh, kind of a step-by-step -step process on how I'm going to do here, bottling it um, from the sanit sanit uh, sanitizing it all the way down to... Um, you know, uh, priming it with the sugar to carbonate it and all those things. So we'll go ahead and get started on that now. All right, so first up, you see we got our beer here um, in our fermenter and we got our bottles ready. We got our equipment over here, uh, which we'll get to in one second. But we're gonna go ahead and transfer that beer into the bottles. But first thing you gotta do is sanitize all your equipment. All right, so first things first, we have our uh, water here. I don't have a pot big enough to be able to submerge all of the um, bottles into so i'm just going to do one at a time i'm going to use this take the water out pour it in the bottle slush it around pour the water back into there and i'll show you guys that got our sanitizer here this is the leftover one step from um when we made our um when we started to do the fermentation to uh sterilize the fermenter uh we used half of this now we're going to use the other half and add it to our solution so that way we can uh go ahead and buy our beer so we're going to pour that in there give it a little stir get it going good here mix it all in nice and like i said i don't have a pot big enough to be able to submerge the bottle so i'm going to use this cup as going to be an aid so we're going to make sure that that gets nice and sterile um our equipment we're going to need for this we're going to need the siphoning tube we're just going to drop that in the solution here so it can get nice and sterile we're going to need our bottling wand um, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'll show you guys how that works here in a second. So we're gonna put that in there, get that ready. Then we are going to need our measuring, uh, measuring cup thing here. And then we have our, um, it's gonna be like our funnel we're gonna use to siphon, to put it inside the bottle to be able to put the, the uh, sugar into. So we're gonna get that in there as well. All right. Sterilize the spoon too. Let that get nice and clean. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, go. We're going to sanitize the bottle. So I'm going to show you guys how we're going to sanitize the bottle, and then I'm going to show you guys how we're going to fill the bottle and then prime them. All right. So once you have all your equipment clean and set out, um, you want to go ahead and sterilize each bottle. Um, and what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said, I don't have a pot big enough to put them in. So what I'm going to do is take some of our sterilizing solution here. Just gonna pour it into the bottle. Get a pretty good amount in there. Make sure you get enough in there so that way it gets nice and sterile. And then I'm gonna cover the cap with my hand and I'm just gonna shake it around real good just like you would shake your fermenter um, once you ferment your beer. So make sure that gets good contact all around. All over and then you're also going to do your caps too and we'll do those at the very end and I'll show you how to do that 
So slush each one of these bottles, you get eight. So slush each one of the bottles around real good. But you want it really nice and clean. So just make sure you really, really get those clean. You don't want anything affecting your beer. Then just pour it back in there. And it's a no rinse solution, which makes it nice. So once you get to the end there a little bit, once you get that done, you set it aside and you do each bottle just like that. And then uh, we'll do all those and we'll get to the next step. All right, so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add, uh, there's a chart in the instructions here that tell you um, how much sugar, you're just gonna use regular table sugar. It's the only thing that's not included in the kit, but everybody has it at their house. So it tells you here, you're gonna, for, for this kit, which comes with the one liter bottles, we're gonna use two and a half teaspoons. Um, each bottle is listed here, so you guys know exactly how much uh, sugar you're supposed to use. So we're using the one liter bottles, um, which is two and a half teaspoons. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two and a half teaspoons. We're gonna take our funnel. Like I said, everything's sterile here. Uh, we sterilize this, sterilize the spoon. So everything's good there. We're gonna add two and a half teaspoons to each one of these bottles. So we're gonna go ahead and add one. Two. And we're gonna do half. Half. And then we're gonna do we're gonna do that to each bottle. And then once we're done that, we'll move on to the um, the actual bottling step. So we'll go ahead and get that done and be right back. All right, so now that we got each bottle primed and ready to go, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn on our spigot here. And I'm gonna go slow just so I make sure everything's good. And we see a little bit of action there, just let it form his channel. Um, and all the all the sediment down at the bottom, that's what's nice about the conical fermenters is you're below that. So now I'm gonna use the bottle of mine, which everything here is uh, sanitized. I'm gonna put a little bit into this cup just to uh, make sure there's no weirdness in, the, in there, right in that uh, spigot. And I'm gonna discard that and then we're gonna go just a little bit, just uh, so we can get the flow going and we can see. So I'm gonna take it here. I'm just gonna get the flow, We've gotta go down below it. So let me get below. I'm just going to run just a little bit in there. Just so we can see what we got here. All right, so we got we got the thing primed. We heard a bubble bubble. So now I'm going to set this up here, make sure it stays sterile. Um, back up top there. And we have a little bit here. So what we're going to do is set that aside for now. We see our beer in our wand. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, fill each bottle. Alright, this is probably a little bit better of an angle because uh, you want to make sure you're below it. So what we're going to do is you got your primed bottle, your wand, everything's ready to go. We're going to fill each bottle up to about there and then uh, we'll go ahead and cap them off. I'll show you guys that as we get to it. Let's fill this bottle up. Nice thing about the bottling wand is you just push down and the beer flow flows out. You don't have to worry about um, pinching it off. Like some beer kits, you got to pinch off and stuff like that. This one is pretty easy. You just stick the wand in and you fill it till it's full and then you move on to the next bottle. So it makes the job a lot easier for the two batches that I've done with Brew Brew Demon here. So we're almost full here. And like I said, we'll, we'll cap this off next and then uh, tell you a little bit about the end. So we just about where we want it there take the wand out make sure you don't get any drips set it aside make sure you keep it in a in a sterile place and then like i said you can smell the beer already um it's good and like i said we're going to cap this off i got the cap sterilized um and we'll go ahead and show that so i'm going to fill all these bottles and then we'll jump back up here to where you guys can see how we cap them all right, so now what we do is we have we have our bottles of beer here. They're primed, they're sterile, they're filled. The caps over here we had we had started sitting in the sterile solution, so it's good to go. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your cap once it's sterile, and you're just going to screw it on, tighten it down. There you go. And then you do that to all the bottles. You keep these in a um, 
room temperature area. This one's gonna sit for two weeks. Like I said, the first one we let sit for uh, 10 days or so. This one we're gonna let sit for about two weeks and see if there's a difference between a little over one week and two weeks of the conditioning. Um, this batch here that we did, fermented for two and will sit for two. The other one fermented for about seven or eight days and then it, it was bottled and conditioning for about 10. So we're gonna see if there's a difference between um, the extra little bit in the fermenter and the extra little bit in the conditioning of the bottle. So we're gonna go ahead and cap all these off and then uh, that's it, we'll be right back. All right guys, so they, there's the kit right there. I wanna thank Brew Demon again for sending us these out. Um, we're gonna let these condition, like I said, for two weeks and then we're gonna do our last video. And uh, this one and that one will probably be together. So if you see these two together, you know why. Um, just because it's easier to post that way. So these are the, the bottles that we made with the two weeks and two weeks. We're gonna let them condition. I wanna thank Brew Demon again. You guys can find them out all over the place, brewdemon.com, or you can go to our, our website, XD Experience, uh, xdexperience.com, and you can click on their link over there. We added a link uh, for them over on our site, so you can click on them and check them out. Tell them we sent you, that'd be awesome. Can't wait to try this beer. Um, I'm, I'm anxious to see um, how this goes because this was a very easy kit to follow, very easy uh, recipe to make. Everything went really smooth, no problems. Everything just flowed really nice. You know, as long as you're patient, I think it's going to work out. So the beer smelled great. Um, like I said before, it's conditioned, so now it's got to carbonate. So next up is we'll be tasting it. So see you guys again. Next time.